Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And have you ever wondered if you're missing out on a couple of things in this game? Do not worry, we will be discussing them today. Guys, if you think that this video is helpful, please put a like to it. And also, don't forget, if you want to support my channel, please do subscribe because it helps this channel a lot. So, moving on to all of the missing things that I think some of you guys haven't seen we will start off with the recommended button okay so it's actually here um i've covered this in a video for logistics if i can remember but there are recommendations here for the gun for basic equipment up to advanced equipment and also logistics as well so this function is actually hidden in the view details tab of each of your operatives so please make sure that you know where that is next up is when you click on the skills there's there are skill icons on the right there's a last skill here pertaining to your alignment so if you guys are wondering where your alignment points go it actually goes here you just compute it on how much buffs you have um, already invested in this alignment Th this this skill is connected to your alignment so it's like a passive skill so you don't have to worry on how to activate it just uh, contribute alignment points to this one so next up is going to be something that um you haven't i think you haven't seen some of the um operatives have a quick ultimate whether you switch out or stay in this just simply means that you have to set whether you use the, when you use your ultimate they will stay in they would not go out and swap out so that is just what this means so make sure that you you set this as your preference not all of of the of the operatives actually have this so only a few have this just make sure that you set the right one especially if you're bringing that particular operative okay so if you guys are looking for something like for example this one hydrocarbon plastic if you're wondering where to get this don't forget to click on this to check on the source to check on where to farm it so it will directly uh, uh it will redirect you to the content where you can farm that sort that's just very simple um some actually forget about it and also let's go back to your storage area there is a recycle function guys for both your weapon and your, your logistics We'll start off with weapon if you click on the recycle button it doesn't say no items available because what it only recycles is blue and green that have been leveled up so if i have a level 10 here blue or green then i could i could recycle it so on and so forth as far as logistics is concerned the logistics part if you click on this one it can recycle anything with a zero modification if it's equipped it won't recycle and also if it has been enhanced it won't recycle as well so please take note of that and uh, if you recycle you'll be given your materials that you used for that particular logistic okay so moving to if you happen to let's say if you want to clear a specific stage Usually this is a hassle, guys, scrolling here, right? Looking for what is a possible drop. So don't forget there's an icon here. If you click on this, it opens up all of the drops that is possible for that specific stage. Also, we'll go to one operative here. So let's uh, have life an example and her weapons. So if you want to go to parts so the parts here have locked um, modifications if you remember so actually i say i think some of you guys have been wondering how to unlock these so if you click on some of them will be unlocked through the main story missions 
but some of them will be unlocked through this one so obtain after leveling ionized jellyfish if some of you don't know what ionized jellyfish is that is actually a gun a gun a if this is a submachine gun so definitely your ionized jellyfish is also a submachine gun so you have to level that gun up to level 50 even though you're not using it just to unlock a specific um a specific uh uh, what they call this specific part so make sure that when you unlock a specific part you really need it like for example if i'm going to unlock a muzzle here this is a muzzle right a silencer so this one if i want to unlock this because of attack 12 i have to look for this uh, particular weapon to raise it up do not just open anything because i'm sure you'll only be using one silencer not, you won't be using all of it so please make sure that you unlock what is only needed and also guys last on the list let's go to my darling here darling she got lost <laughs> my darling akasha kaguya okay so let's go to our weapon uh, go to train and if you modify usually you'd require a copy of the gun to modify right so if you click here i don't see any copy here the only reason why i don't see a copy is that when you go to storage i do have a copy here but it's locked so you you go to unlock you go back to the operative go back to weapon train and you go to modify then there it is you can actually click you can actually modify once the gun is unlocked so i just don't have any cash or credit so that is why i cannot modify it at this point so there you go guys that those are the things that i think you missed so at least now you'll be able to remember um those small things that will really help you and could probably unlock some of the things that you need to unlock. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.